ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Master of Poseidon, uh, Master of Atlantis Poseidon, as we are continuing with our Birth of Atlantis adventure. In last episode, we built the Sanctuary of Artemis. We uh, called upon a new hero in uh, Poseidon, which was Atlant uh, not Atlantis, Atalanta, of course. And uh, we are now continuing with our story. The half-men, half-horse monsters have done the unthinkable. They have attacked and completely destroyed Uemus. I credit the gods with your uncle Uemon's successful escape, but we must prepare ourselves against further attack. The gods have already done so much for us. I think that we can handle this particular monster problem ourselves. Take care to fortify Atlantis, lest these murderous brutes set their sights on you. Alright, it's time to build an army worthy of Atlantis. Yeah, I did uh, I did Lord of the Rings reference there. It's completely true. Alright, how are we going to deal with this? Because I am not sure what the most optimal way of doing things is here. I think I'm gonna make an avenue. Yeah, definitely. But I don't think we have the support for many. Um, many good houses, actually, because this island is. This hill is so small, I can barely do anything with it. I might be able to turn you around. We'll leave for some lost places. Might be able to squeeze. Just not in there. Which is annoying. Can mm. more better utilize terrible area over here. Seems great an area on a hill. Bad, almost in unimpenetrable, unimpenetrable, but it isn't because it sucks because you can't do anything with it. All right, let's try things out. I think I want my markets over here, which means I should try to get the culture on the other side. Like this, yeah. All right. That means we have this to play with, I guess. All right. Yep. Foot. I know. What's the other thing? I would say that this is the largest. And these are pretty small, the university. Laboratory. And workshop. Ooh, it's way smaller than I expected. I see a lot of opportunities. It's way smaller than I had anticipated, so it might be able to do some good things with this. Alright, let's see. How can we fit these things? Starting with the road. Um, 
that new. Or maybe not. Maybe I just want to move like this. It's not that big. Might make myself easier. Let's see what we can do with this. This is very small though. Move this one. Get it to the stones. Just like that. Let's see what we can do with such a thing. Alright, so we need to fit things in this area. Which I think we can easily do. Orium. Laboratory. I might be just because I can be able to put them in there. Completely utilizing our possibilities to do so. That would be amazing, actually. And put in a large statue of Artemis in here. So these things up in like this. The only thing we need is an exit, which won't be that hard. Like this. Yeah. I think this is our. Layout. We do need some storage, but we can just easily put that somewhere in the back over here. Might be able to squeeze the cost and that was somewhere here. And uh some storage maybe like that some happiness over there just to 
Neutralize. Hmm. Miscalculated a little bit. I lost my fits perfectly yet. Does mean I can just move away from the edges. Olive oil. Wine. Armor at least. Right, then we go over here. Good fender, these fender, oil fender, an arm fender, and a wine fender. Get the fish. Item because I don't need any need for war. Oh, of course, I have Artemis units. That's good. Alright, everything is flourishing already. Oh, this is. Fitting in quite nicely. Boom. Choose me, and you'll never have to fear fighters. There's no true benefit of building. I want to be loved by 
Yeah, they are a little bit on the edge of all culture, apparent, all science, apparently. I think we have a decent army now, so let us go on a rampage and <laughs> kill everything there is. I want to be loved by you. I'll make your city as attractive as I am. Alright. Uh, I don't think so, my friends. Hmm. Hmm. Just too late. How do I need 300 workers? What? That's a lot of people. Uh, I do need to attend that, actually. Let's <laughs> uh, see. Another community over here would do. I do want to fix our people's uh, problem. Choose me, and you'll never have to fear for me. What is going on? Why olive oil is the problem? Why is olive oil the problem? I want to be loved by you. I'll make your city as attractive as I am. Oh, also here the olive oil. Gang out of control. The olive trees are not a problem, I think. It's the olive oil itself, so. I want to be loved by you. I'll make your city as attractive as I am. I think three ish. This should do the trick, maybe. Hopefully. I want to be loved by you. 
loved by you. I'll make your city as attractive as I am. Alright, I think that's... Uh, that's more like it. It's not great yet, but I've been working on it. Laboratory. Now deal with the last of them. And list all except those wars. If I'm right, we can build some towers now, yes we can. Should try to what have we done? How were we to know? These half men, half horse beings that we took for horrible beasts were a race of intelligent beings called centaurs, and we have utterly destroyed them. These centaurs had built a beautiful city at Cynia, with a gorgeous shrine to Dionysus, and even one to my own father, Poseidon. How were we to know? The learned scholars say that we should take pains to discover everything we can about other creatures and peoples before we fight them. They believe that this horrible tragedy could have been averted. This seems reasonable, but isn't there something else we can do to prevent us from sinking into barbarism again? Yes, isn't there? Shouldn't we try to? Alright, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have enjoyed it, so please leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you soon in another video of Master of, Poseid of Atlantis Poseidon. But until then, I say to all of you, goodbye.